Good morning, grade four students. How are you today? Every, I hope everyone is okay. Okay, our lesson today is sequencing on the maze. If you remember from code.org, we logged into our accounts last week and we already started with uh, sequencing on the maze, the lesson one we just for trial to see how it's our listening going on. Okay, today we're going to know uh, about this lesson and what things that we're going to learn it from it. Okay, guys, let's start. Okay, our objective for today is we're going to be able to order movement commands as sequential steps in a program. Our success criteria we define an existing program to solve errors. Break down a long sequence of instructions into the largest re repeatable sequences. Okay. And modify an existing program to solve errors. This is our, our success criteria. Okay. We're going to, to discuss now these questions. How do we fix something that isn't working? Okay. I need you to think about it. If you have something, how you fix it? And with the how it's not it is not working. Okay. Do you follow a specific series of steps when you need to uh, fix that things? For sure. There is a steps, right? Okay. Some puzzles in this lesson have already been solved for you. And we have some uh, puzzles in this lesson already solved for you yeah, and you have to as you see last time you have to drag and drop some blocks okay by the but they don't seem to be working some of them after you uh, move the blocks and put it together it is not pro working it means there is an error there is a problem we co we call this problems in these programs bugs we call it here in programs bugs okay and it will be your job to debug them as you see here we have two vocabulary we don't know what's mean them but some of students catch up and know what they are okay let's start to know what they are okay vocabulary this lesson has four new and important vocabulary words. Okay, the first one, program. Program. We say it many times before. Can you say it with me? Program. Program. An algorithm that has been coded into something that can be run by a machine. Okay, not only a computer, can be also a robot, can be many things. A car, all these things called a machine, right? This is mean program, okay? Okay, someone will come and ask me, Mister, what is mean algorithm? Let's see. It's a very good question. Algorithm here we can say as a process set of rules okay there is a rules you need to follow that rules in calculations you have there is a calculation way okay to solve operation okay solve any problem okay an operation problem solving okay especially using computer okay this is means algorithm Okay, I hope everyone understand. If you have any question later on, you can ask me. Okay, programming. Say it with me, please. Programming. Programming. The art of creating a program. If we want to create a program, we have to programming. We have to do programming to create a program. Okay, now let's come here with the two words we just said now, bug. 
Say it with me, please. Bug. Bug. An error in a program. It's an error in a program. That prevents the program from running from running as expected. Okay. This is bug. It's an error. Okay. But the error where in a program. We cannot say error, but we need to know it is called bug. When I have a problem in my program, we say it's a bug. Okay guys? Okay. Debugging. Say it with me, please. Debugging. Debugging. Okay. Finding the error. Debugging here is finding the error. Okay. And fixing that error. Okay. It's mean finding and fixing error in programs. Okay. Now we have a bug here. Debug is to find that error and fix it in our program. Okay, I'll explain more debugging what's me. Okay, debugging is a process. First, you must recognize that there is an error in your program. How you know that? If there is a problem or there is an error. You then work through the program step by step to find the error. Try the first step. Did it work? Maybe it doesn't work. Then the second. How about now? You need to keep trying to find the error, right? And to fix it. Okay. If you make sure that everything is working line by line, then when you get the place that the code isn't doing what is supposed to, you know that you have found a bug. Okay. Once you have discovered your bug, you can work to fix it or debug. Debug means to fix that bug. Okay, guys, I'm sure now everyone already understand what's mean debugging and bugs. Okay, okay, now let's go to the part of practicing and work in our maze and solve the things that is required from us and to find also if there is an errors or there is a bugs and going to debug that problems okay if you go to your lesson one okay you know already how to log in now from last lesson i already show you how to log into your account this is lesson one as I see here, this is step number one. You need to watch that this video. And I, I know that most of the students already watch it. Please watch it again. Okay. Then you go to step number two. Here we are. Okay. Here is direction us. After you connecting all the blocks, press run to start your program. Let me exit this one. Okay, to run, nothing happened. Did anything happen? Because there is something I need, I need to read the instructions. See, he giving me here like a question, unused code. We didn't use any code yet. Okay, okay guys. Now, let's go here. For this puzzle, snap all the blocks together and click run. Watch it to go. Some students, I find out they drag something from here and put here this. This is required to be here. We already have here this one and this one. Did we, we, we if we bring something extra, how we delete it, we take it back here to the blocks area. As I said last time, we know what is mean here in instruction. This is the works space and this is what the, it's called play area okay let's try now to press run great it works here already give you that you done it and right right if you like this steps you can give what part 
Okay, continue. Step number two. Here is move forward. Okay, as you know, these blocks, we call it blockly, underneath of it, it is, there is a code. A code, it's written by a professional people. But here we are going to know the steps or the concept of what, of programming. We don't need to write the code, but we will going to understand the concept of programming. Okay, this blocks here. Let's read the instruction first. We have, we don't have to, to do this kind of things until we read the instructions. Okay. Okay, drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox, then attach all blocks to the when run to finish your code. Drag an extra move forward. Okay, then attach all blocks. Okay, let me attach with when run. Attach it where to when run. Here we attach it all together, and this is the third one. Then after that, to finish your code, you need to hit what run. Let's try now. Great, we done it. I'm going to reply it again to explain this part. Why we added three? He need to move the angry bird. He want to move three steps to reach here, right? Mean how many steps? Three. We add more, move forward three times. Okay, now how many blocks we have here? Four. Now it's done. We done four or oh, four blocks. We are done. If you want to repeat it once again, you click what start over. Start over to do it once again. If you do something wrong, first step you need to drag this one here. Put one here, snip this one together. Again here, and we are done. Okay, as I said last time, if you cannot read the instructions, you can hit play in any time. Drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox, then attach all blocks to and run to finish your code. Great. Okay, very good. Okay, there is another option to know with which word they are reading. Let's click here. Then we press play. Drag an extra move forward block out of the toolbox, then attach all blocks to and run to finish your code. Very good. Even they show us which word they are reading. Okay. This is a good practice for reading and listening in the same time. Okay, guys. Okay. Go back here. We done here, right? Okay. Now I can go to the step number four. Just I want to also tell you one thing. If you done any steps, I can know from my website or my controller which students and how many students finish step three. For example, I can know. It means during the period you need to do all these things and continue till the end. If you're facing any problem at the end of the period, you can ask me. Uh, you need to finish all of them. They are 13. How many they are? 13. You get the idea now how to use these kind of things? Okay. Let's solve this one together. Then I want you to, to finish the rest of them. Use the blocks in the toolbox to build your program. Get the bird to the big. Okay, now move forward. How many times for move forward need here? I believe two times. Okay, then where he will need to turn? Turn where? Right. Okay, you can change it here, right or left as you want. Okay, 
then how many blocks rest of the blocks one more move forward okay let's try let's try okay how it would work press try run one two see we did very one mistake who can tell me it's easy easy we need to move this down and we need to move forward one more step right then I take this back here and let's just try again done you are great great here we write five lines of code and you total you write code now 17 lines of code you for example today i make here one what we call it bug we did one bug right and we find our bug we debug it you understand now okay the rest I'll give you time in this period to complete all of it okay guys if you have any questions in the end of the period we are going to answer all questions okay guys thank you have a great day